My name is Sam and today I want to show you how you can access data for a specific tract from the 2020 Decennial Census Detailed Demographic and Housing Characteristics File B or Detailed DHCB. The Detailed DHCB provides statistics on household type and tenure for detailed racial and ethnic groups and American Indian and Alaska Native tribes and villages. In general, most people probably wouldn't say that knowing a tract number is common knowledge. However, we can use a map that lays out all of the tracks to easily determine the number of a given tract. I'm trying to gather data from the detailed DHCB on the Welsh population at the tract level for Vermont. At the moment, my focus is on Rutland County. I need to find data for the tract or tracks that contain the area around Route 31 and Ruby Road, which happens to be close to Lake St. Catherine and the border with neighboring Washington County. I can use the map in data.census.gov to determine the numbers of the tracks I need and then get the data for those tracks for the Welsh population. Let's go to the site so I can show you how to do this. Once I'm at data.census.gov, my first step is to go to the advanced search by clicking on the button beneath the search bar. Normally, I would start my search by selecting the geography that I need, but since I don't know what the track number is, I'm going to instead start by adding the filters that I already know. First, from the left, under Surveys, click on Decennial Census, and check the box next to Detailed Demographic and Housing Characteristics File B. Now I want to add the filter to get data for people who report their race as Welsh. Under Topics, click on Race and Ethnicity, and White. At this point, we have a short menu of options. Detailed white alone, detailed white alone or in any combination, and all available detailed white races. Using a selection from the detailed white alone menu will give you data on those who reported a single entry, such as Welsh, and no other races. Using a selection from the detailed white alone or in any combination menu will give you data on those who reported a single entry for the race, like those just mentioned, as well as those who reported that entry with one or more other races, such as Welsh and Inuit. And then we have the option for all available detailed white races. Using this will give you data on all of the detailed white alone groups, as well as the detailed white alone or in any combination groups that happen to be available for the geography of interest. The first two options are most helpful when you have very specific race groups in mind that you want to look at. The last option is most helpful if you do not necessarily have any specific race groups to use in mind and you want to get a full idea of all the different race groups available for the geography. Since I'm interested in looking at data for anyone who reported themselves as being Welsh alone or in combination with one or more other race groups, I'm going to click on the second option for detailed white alone or in any combination. Then I want to click on European alone or in any combination and check the box for Welsh alone or in any combination. Despite having these filters selected, I'm not quite ready to hit the search button yet. I found that, unless I'm really familiar with the area, I can get a little disoriented when I zoom in closely in a map and it can be hard to tell where I am. One of my tricks for getting around this is to add a geography that I do know to the map to help narrow things down a little. I know that the area of interest is in Rutland County, so I can add that to the search to help make the process for locating the area and the tracks easier. Under Geography, click on County, Vermont, and check the box for Rutland County. Now that I have these filters selected, I can hit the search button in the lower right corner of the screen. I get back a list of six tables. Please keep in mind though, that when you do your own searches for detailed racial and ethnic groups and American Indian and Alaska Native tribes and villages, you may receive up to six tables in return, but it's possible that not all of them will contain data for your group of interest. When using data from the detailed DHCB, we recommend that you view our video that explains how the amount of data that you receive is determined and how this data will appear in data.census.gov. This video can be found at the link below. Knowing that this list of tables is for Rutland County and not for the tracks that I'm interested in, I don't want to spend time looking through the tables at this point. Instead, I'm just going to jump over to the map. To get to the map, click on the Maps tab above the table list. 
When the map loads, it should have Rutland County shaded in a light blue color. Zoom into the southwest area of the county, close to the border with Washington County and Lake St. Catherine. Look for Route 31 and Ruby Road. And here's the area I'm interested in. To figure out what the track numbers are, click on the Boundaries button in the ribbon above the map. This allows you to add different boundaries to the map. Scroll down and check both boxes next to Census Tract. The track names and boundaries appear on the map in red. To close this panel, just click on the X in the corner. I have to zoom out quite a bit to see where the tract is. It looks like this area is completely contained within Census Tract 9638. There is another way that we could figure this out without having to zoom out all the way though. Let's zoom back in to the Ruby Road area again so I can show you. Once you are there, click on the Identify button in the ribbon and then click directly on the area of interest. This gives me some geographic details about the tract. I can confirm that this area is in Census Tract 9638. So now that I have this information, I just need to add it to my search. First, click on the Identify button again to close the panel. Now, go back over to the left side of the screen and under Geographies, click on Census Tract, Vermont, Rutland County, and check the box for Census Tract 9638, Rutland County, Vermont. Click on the X in the upper right corner of the panel to close it and update everything. We don't need the Rutland County filter anymore, so you can click on the X on the filter chip to remove it from the search. Once this is done, click on the Tables tab at the top to get back to the table list. Now we can see what data is available for the tract. From table T03001, I can see the number of households where the householder is Welsh alone or in combination with one or more other races. If I move to table T04001, I can see the total number of occupied housing units where the householder is Welsh alone or in combination with one or more other races. I hope this tutorial has helped in showing how you can use a map in data.census.gov to find geographies and data from the 2020 Detailed Demographic and Housing Characteristics File B. For more guidance on using our site, please visit our resources page at the link below. Thank you.